Plaintiff James Kish says he and the defendant dated off and on for 10 years, but he admits that he ruined their relationship by cheating on her. James says he still loves the defendant and desperately wants her back, but he's suing today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Kim Chavez says James is nothing but a stalker, and the harassment got so bad that she was forced to call the police. Kim claims she would never go back to James because she got married a week ago to her witness, which she will reveal to James today. Kim's countersuing for the harassment. Start with you. Well, I've known Kim for a long time. She's my former girlfriend, and I still love her very much. Um, I know a long time ago I lost her love, mainly because of the mistakes I made in our relationship. How long did you all date? From what years? Uh, we met in 2003. Mm -hmm. And it's been off and on since then, up until this last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's this gentleman? You want him to speak? This is my witness. State your name. Come on up. My name is Robert What did you I... want to interrupt to say? Objection. <laughs> To what, sir? It's the, this, the actual date is 2004. You were there? Yes. Okay. What, what was your capacity? I was. I also worked for Mediterranean Cuisine. Okay. You all worked together, all three of you, sir? At one point, yes. I've never worked with this fellow. <laughs> Have a seat, sir. <clears throat> what was it like dating? I mean, why were you all off and on? What mistakes were you making? Well... Uh, when things weren't right between me and Kim, uh, instead of dealing directly with her the way I should have, uh, I would seek comfort and support with other women. I think if, if Kim would give me another chance to make it right, I, I, I think we could have a future together. Kim. <laughs> Kim, I love you, and I need you, and I, I'm sorry for all the mistakes I've made. <laughs> Please give me another chance to make it right. Forgive me. Would you marry me and be my wife? This is for real, baby. Judge Mathis, may I say something, please? <laughs> what, you want to say yes on her behalf? What? No, I'd like to say something else. <laughs> Too late. She's mine. What's that? Sorry, we've always been friends, and I've forgiven you. There's our marriage the license. Ooh. I finally found something. You can start by dropping the lawsuit. No. And no, stopping this, the this domestic anything, violence. This doesn't have anything to do with a lawsuit, and there's no domestic violence here. Too late. She's mine. What's that? Sorry, we've always been friends, and I've forgiven you. There's our marriage the license. Ooh. <laughs> I finally found and start by dropping the lawsuit. Plaintiff James Kish is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims she was forced to call the police on James for stalking her. Did you know they were married? No, sir. When were they married? Very, Last very Thursday. Recent. We're still on our honeymoon. I'm sorry. And you were told several times th that your advances were not wanted. Because he showed up at my house. He always showing up at my house, stalking me, showing up at my work, harassing me. That's not true. Hiding Honor. in the bushes Objection. while I'm on dates and stuff like that. But he loves me, but he's over at Sherry's house all the time. You all he's act supposed pretty. supposed to be asking Sharon. You all me. act like y'all actors or something. <laughs> you falling all down. This is too much drama. You falling all down on one knee. Oh, you marry me. He's throwing up his hand. Objection! I hope this isn't some type of prank. Is this case the real deal? Don't ask me. Well, this marriage certificate police appears to be right the real here. deal, that's for sure. Akron Police Department. Okay, what does that indicate? Akron Police Department. This that is part of your harassment claim? He's, He's been, been coming okay. to our house. All right, this is Sending no. her mail every week. He sends her a church bulletin. I've asked him. He's come to our door. <laughs> you say he sends church bulletins? He sends church yeah, bulletins and knocks on not the to door. Contact, so he's and in... knocks on the door. And yeah. knocks on the door. And, drives and tries to open the door. Sir, you might have be been better off saying you're a Jehovah's Witness. You knock on the door. <laughs> You and knock on the, the door and you bill. leave church bulletins. Your Honor, none of that's true. 
I had to move. I had to have my phone number changed to try to get away And from it's this been man. put in my name now. And this I told him, and I informed chance. him that I'm the account alone, owner and he was not the contact her. Order. I have filed a protection order being her husband, and he should be get one, a certified copy at his home in Cuyahoga Falls. And How I did you have, wrap her up so quick and get her to marry you after he had her for 10 I've years? Been having, I've been having. He never with asked her. me uh -oh, to marry watch her. out. What, you've been having what? When? I've been with her last year. I was with her last year living with her until he came into the house and I was I was sleeping. I looked up at 2.37 in the morning. He's in there staring at me. And I moved out the next day. Yeah. At 2.37 in the morning. Sir, did you do that? No, sir. I'll get the yeah. police report if you want. <laughs> They have one police report on you, sir. And he also had, and he's also on probation for stalking other women. Is and that he true, had to sir? No, sir. Right. Yes, he had to check with his probation one. officer to get uh, permission to leave the state of Ohio. Is that true? No, sir, I, I have permission to leave, but it has nothing to do with stalking anyone. Who'd you have to get permission from? Yes, it is true. I am on probation. I did plead to a charge in, in Ohio this uh, year. And what was the charge? to do with this yeah. case. Trust what was yeah. the charge? I'm talking to the judge, sir. Well, I'm talking to you. Was it, <laughs> was, was it about women? Because this case, she's countersuing for harassment. It's not about and so harassment. so it is relevant whether this case involved women. Are you on probation for anything associated with a woman? Yes. Would you like me to give you the details? You need to. OK. <laughs> Not that I'd okay, like you I, to. You need to if you want to defend against this harassment. Sure. I've been a registered nurse for the last 28 years, and the last two years of that, I was a supervisor, a director of nursing. Uh, one of my employees, who was also a um, uh, girlfriend, her... Dating um, us at work. Her yeah. at work was substandard. She was uh, bad uh, attendance. But uh, after we became close, um, she used that relationship to her advantage in the workplace. The boss said, you have to discharge her. I was the one that had to fire her. She retaliated against me by filing charges that I had broken into her apartment and took her stuff. Uh, I only went in her house when I was invited. Liar! <laughs> you went in her house and she was at work and I was You're sleeping in the bed. You looked we're, at me we're at talking about something and I called totally the police. Other girl. I have the uh, He came to over finish. to my house last summer and tried to choke me. Your and Honor, the may stars I have the aren't here. So that happen? But he is, uh... Your Honor, may I finish what I'm saying? Go oh, ahead, yes, sir. Okay. So it was necessary to fire the employee. She filed charges against right. me. She Same made up some you... charge that I broke into her house. When I was interviewed by the police, I, I, they, I did whatever they told me. Uh, so they thought it would be best just to clear the case and move it on. I pled to a lesser count of trespassing, and I was put on probation Got for it. a year. And what about choking her? And then shows up at my house a week later Quiet, with flowers sir. apologizing. Did you choke her? I did not choke anyone, sir. Liar. Liar. Plaintiff James Kish is suing his ex-girlfriend who claims she was forced to call the police on James for stalking her. This $1,000 loan, what is that about? Kim and I were no longer dating, but we're still friends. And she agreed that she owed me $1,000. When did you loan it to her? Uh, prior to that amount. It's, when, it, sir? It, month and year? I don't have an exact amount or date, but that was a, uh, an amalgam of... You don't month? Of a... The season, then. <laughs> Okay. Summer, spring, fall, winter of 2000 and what? Over the, over the course of our relationship, I've probably lent, given her between five and $10,000. I've given her two We're referring cars. to the $1,000 right. loan that you're suing right. for. You have one more chance yes, to sir. tell me. In June, when you loaned her the money, when was she to repay it? Her and I both agreed that she owed me $1,000 and she would pay back in $50 payments every two weeks. All right. So, ma'am, is this true? Um, after being bullied and harassed and him showing up at my door demanding that if I wasn't going to date Got him anymore... Got you. You agreed? I agreed to get him away from me, yes. And you say he harassed you and you have a police report and he has a history of showing up in women's houses and you right. pled guilty to one. 1000 for your harassment, I believe it. 1000 for you, she says. She agreed to pay you 1000 Have a good day. <laughs> Woo, 
I'll stay away from my wife. Next time, I'll file criminal charges. Kim, Kim, you know he's been arrested twice? He's a lot nicer to than he's ever been. Aggravated assault, trespassing. I can't believe all the lies that he puts you up to. You're I, a liar, and don't ever forget that. And here's the other message I have to say to you. I have nothing to say to you, Well, I have something to man. tell to you. Stay away, stalker. Don't come on my property.